Yere be sata rapa sete Sete Welcome to the burning bush service Today your God will show himself in your life Strong and mighty Lift your hand and show your son of victory Every time you do this, you are claiming victory Amen. in every battle of your life. Amen. You are telling the devil, I am more than a conqueror. Amen. You are confessing the word by just your prophetic sign of victory. Amen. Greater is he that is in you than he who is in this world. Today, the Lord will meet you at a point of your need. Today, that victory you have been waiting for shall manifest in your life. I receive. Today, God will cause the enemy that is arising before you to fall right there before you in the name of I Jesus. Receive. Somebody give him the greatest praise in the house. Victory, 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 is ours. victory, in the name Jesus. of Jesus, victory, we are victory, victory, we win, we win, we win, we win. hallelujah, now today is a very special day because today marks the transition or the day before our 40 days fasting 40 days we will fast amen we will seek the face of god now during these 40 days we are permitted to eat in the evening to break our fast at 6 or 7 p.m but we will not eat anything during the day amen. unless you are pregnant unless you are unwell physically and you feel the pressure of eating something, Amen. you can redesign your fast and remo remove things that uh, you really desire so that uh, you may still fast somehow. But the rest of us will eat nothing during the day. Amen. You are free to drink water, no flavored water. You are, you are free, please cool down those things down. You are free to drink water, you are free to drink tea with no milk, no sugar. You can put honey on it. And that you are free to drink 100% fruit juice. Are we together? So that is the fast. I want to invite as many of you as possible to please join us and fast with me. After these 40 days, your life, I promise in God, will never be the same again. How many of you are fasting with me? Now, those of you who are watching me live and that you are fasting, I want you to know that the Lord our God is with you. You may be in a place very far, in a different continent altogether, but if you are fasting with us, the Lord will bless you. Are you hearing me? Then hear me very carefully. On the 22nd of February, We'll have our first IVP of this year. And that the reason why we're having that IVP is to accommodate you who are fasting with us from around the world to come and close this fast with us. We will have on Friday one of the biggest overnight ever. We call it Grand Finale 2019. <laughs> On Grand Finale 2019, we will claim victory of the rest of the year already there. Amen. After our fast, it will be an overnight here. So we will have the IVP to allow people from around the world to also be partakers of that moment. God will do exceedingly, mm. abundantly, above all you ask and hope for. Are you hearing me? And the Lord will manifest his goodness. Somebody say, Lord. Lord. Manifest your power. Manifest your power. Say, Lord. Lord. Manifest your power. Manifest your power. In my life. In 
in my life. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now, I want to tell you something. Uh, just in a bracket again. Every day of the fast, every day, meaning from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we will come here to close our fast. One hour. For those who can be here, those who cannot be, you do it from wherever you are, from 6 to 7, and we'll have Holy Communion. It is important for you, if you can do that, come and kneel down before God. Come and touch your altar. Come and drop your offering here. Come and call on your God. Anna called on, on a God, not Amen. at home. She went to connect with the altar. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. So it is imperative for you to do that. Don't say I'm too tired to drive. No. Fight. Pay that price. Your life, I promise, will never be the same again. Amen. Amen. Now, while you stand, I want to tell you of an open vision I had that I believe that is linked to what will happen to you and I today and also what will happen during the 40 days. I was on my knees before the Lord and I had an open vision around about 2 a.m. this morning. And in this open vision, I was walking in the valley. The place seemed somehow familiar. And as I walked close, I saw the valley was covered with a black brownish things. It covered the entire valley. It looked like a big mushrooms that were covering the ground. It was literally impossible to see what was under it. Then a voice spoke to me from right close to me and say, much toward it. I say, knowing that it was the Lord speaking, but Lord, there is not even a little space to fit my foot. The Lord say, march toward it. So in obedience, I took few steps, but the closer I got, what seemed to be like mushroom took off from the ground. Then I realized it was not mushroom. It was a, a different creature that looked like a, a, it was different creatures that looked like a, a, a bait with a big human teeth. And they were flying. They took off. Seen in the vision, I was terrified. And I was looking. They took off the ground. And under, under them, on the ground, I saw men and women, some beaten, some bleeding, some showed no injury on them, but they were crying. Some were beating the ground. I saw young children. I saw elderly people. I saw people of all walks of life. People of, from all walks of life, from every culture, from every race. People were turning and creeping in misery. And as I saw it, my spirit was taken with deep sadness. And I said to the Lord, why? Why will your people go through so much? Right there, while speaking to God, I heard another voice. But this voice was not from the voice that I kept on hearing from the beginning of the vision. The second voice I heard came from uh, somehow far from where I was. And the voice spoke as one who's speaking in panic. They are flying away. Don't let them. They are flying away. Don't let them. I look up. The creatures were already going far. I say, but what can I do from here? Now, the voice that was close to me, which I believe is the voice of the Lord, he say, I have given you power. Stretch your hand. Jesus, thank you, Lord. My beloved, I heard this. My body was frozen. I was shivering from within. And timidly, I stretched my hand. Mm. And I declare, mm. the Lord's glory is upon me. His power and authority is on me. I rebuke you, Satan, in the name of Jesus. Amen. As I declare the glory of the Lord, the authority and the power of God on me, and that I, 
I rebuke you, Satan. The creatures began to fall one by one. Hey. One Glory by one. Now hear this. What is interesting is that every time one of the creatures will fall to the ground and crash to the ground, a group of those who were creeping in pain will arise and begin to rejoice. Hey. Hallelujah. And, he, and seeing in the vision that it was so that every time one of the creatures will fall to the ground a group of men and women who were creeping in pain will arise some had open wounds that suddenly closed up I saw young children jumping I saw people embracing each other it was a moment of victory. So I kept my hand toward them. And I kept on seeing them falling one after another. Jesus. I don't know. But there are people here. There are men and women under the sound of my voice. The enemy had covered you. Mm. He had oppressed you. Mm. He had brought, he brought so much pain. But the Lord in the vision showed me. That as I approach with the anointing, they will begin to fly away. I but the voice of an angel say behind me, do not let them fly away. So with the glory and the power, the authority given out to me, I stretch my hand against every wicked devil. Every spirit released against you, against your father's house, against your finances, against your health against your marriage against your children against your ministry against your work i command him to die in jesus name i bind every devil that has been released against you today expect to stand up again expect to arise in power again Amen. Today, the devil, like it or not, you will defeat him. I said, the devil, like it or not, you will defeat him. Amen. I want you to take 60 seconds over what I said to you, wherever you are. And those of you are watching me from around the world, I want you to take 60 seconds. Command the devil to leave you. Command that evil power to go. The Bible said, behold, I've given you authority. To trample on the serpent, the scorpion, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Pray! Jesus. I stand. I stand. I stand. May you receive your freedom today. I receive. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So shall it be. I believe today, mm. by virtue of what I saw, that there will be miracles that will take place all over the Amen. Place. I receive it. Now, before I come down, I want to say this to you who are present here in the overflow inside, in the extension, wherever you may be, in the lobbies, and to those of you who may be watching me from around the world, this is a prophetic word. And it's not done before. In the same vision, in the same time where I got the vision, I remained in the presence of God, and I was shivering, 
shivering as I engage in spiritual warfare. This is now around about 4, four after 4 a.m. Still there, laboring before God. An angel of the Lord spoke to me of matters pertaining the time will fast. And the instruction he gave me, many instructions I keep and will release to you as we go. But this one he said to me, that next Sunday we may all do something prophetic. Something prophetic for you, for your children. And that those of you who will obey this, we are talking about overflow. It will come because your navigation system is working. Amen, I receive. It will come because the Lord will lead you. Now, God spoke to me vividly in the angel of the Lord. He said, tell my people to keep with them a financial point of contact that they will bring on Sunday to wave and go home with. He said, I will operate as this will be presented to them. Are you hearing me? Amen. Now, some of you heard me say in the prophetic week that God will give you the road of Moses. Moses. And it's a spiritual thing, but I believe that as God will be leading us, he will give us different approach of it. This is one of them. The road of Moses brought deliverance. The word of Moses brought judgment to the kingdom of the Egyptian. The same road parted the sea. The same road led them strong. The same road struck, I mean, that struck the rock brought forth water. God said, let every one of them take the smallest note they have and bring it to church to wave it before God. And he said, you will pray for it. And after it, they should keep it with them and not use it. My God. Hey! They should keep it with them and not use it for the duration of the fast. On the night of the weekend of uh, the close of the fast, that weekend is a weekend of the 20th, the 22nd to the 24th, they will bring an offering that there will be Connected to that, meaning they will take that seed that I kept in their hands. They will raise an offering. They will put it in one envelope and they will present it before the altar. Amen. And the Lord say, the overflow he has spoken about hey. will be so shocking in your life. I will say that. That many will ask you, which magic did you do? I you will see. say to them, there is a prophet in my life hey. I who hears from God yes. and tells me how to go. Now, here the smallest note we have in South Africa is 10 rand. Some people may have the smallest note, not the smallest, don't bring me coin. You have to have a note and you will wave it before the Lord. This Sunday, will I have a prophetic service with the road of Moses? And this will be the first road of Moses in your finance. Amen. I, I will say that. We have never done this before. Don't judge me over this. I'm learning it just like uh, you. He spoke to me just now and I'm telling you. We've been here for 17 years. We have never done this. Yeah. And I don't want your 10 rand. Just in, in case. You will come with your 10 rand. You come wherever you are with your one dollar, one shilling, uh, whatever the case may be, euros. Take the smallest note. If you don't have a small, you want to use the biggest note, I think that it's just a point of contact, right? So you will wave it before God in the service and it will become the road of the Lord in your finance. But here, be careful not to eat that one. Don't go out and say, I will use this one 
and I'll get another one. There were many sticks and roads that Moses could have used. But the only one had turned into a serpent. Moses could have not said that I'm too hot, I'm too cold now. I need wood for fire. Let me use my road and I'll pick another one. It will not be the same. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Amen. So next service, next Sunday, you will come with the road. Take it for you. Take a road for your children. Take a road for your family. And we will wave it before the Lord. Can we do that? Amen. Now lift your hands as we pray. I want you to begin to pray over even what I say now on the road of Moses. A prophetic house is a house of prophetic direction. Manama Sete. God said that this year for you will be a year of the overflow. His grace, his mercy, his power will overflow. Amen. And common things will happen. I receive. bless you Jesus Lord we honor you we thank you we give you glory there is none like you from everlasting to everlasting you are God bless us today bless us today lift your hands say Lord Lord bless me today bless me today I'm here for you I'm here for you don't pass me by don't pass me by say Lord Lord I receive my miracle today. I receive my miracle today. Defeat the devil in my life. Defeat the devil in my life. Let the world see your glory in my life. Let the world see your glory in my life. I decree, I declare. I decree, I declare. Today the favor of God will be on me. Today the favor of God be upon me. And my life will never be the same. And my life will never be the same again. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Glorify Jesus in my life. Glorify Jesus in my life. I receive it. I receive it. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. Please have a seat. Exodus chapter 3, verse 1 to 6. Will you read on the screen 1, 2, and 3? Amen. You are about to have an experience with God. I will say. Emmanuel. Yeah. 
You are Emmanuel. You are Emmanuel. The Lord our God. You say I will never leave you nor forsake you. I shall be with you every day till the end of time. Yes, you are Emmanuel. We are not alone. God is with us. We love to love you, Jesus. We bless you, Lord. I pray, God, that you use me as a vessel, as an instrument. In Jesus name. As I share your word, oh God, I pray that it may not be me, my views, my opinion, but you speaking through me. So may I be a simple instrument in your hand. Use me, oh God, like a musician who uses a guitar, a speaker uses a microphone. May I be a microphone to you, oh God. Spirit of the living God, glorify Jesus Christ in our midst. Let the chains of pain and suffering fall today. In the name of Jesus. May the saints go out free testifying that indeed true we serve a mighty God no O oh God no unto us no unto me O oh God but unto your name give glory Amen. for why would the nation say where is their God the world is dying Lord the entire globe is covered with confusion when it comes to you. Show up, O oh God. Yes, Lord. And we will show off. Yes, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you. Please have a seat. Now Moses was tending the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian. And he led the flock to the back of the desert and came to Oreb, the mountain of God. And the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a flame of fire from the midst of a bush. So he looked and behold, the bush was burning with fire, but the bush was not consumed. Then Moses said, I will now turn aside and see this great sight. Why the bush does not burn? So when the Lord saw that he turned aside to look, God called to him from the midst of the bush and said, Moses, Moses. And he said, here I am. Then he said, do not draw near this bush. Do not draw near this place. Take your sandals off your feet. For the place where you stand is holy ground. Moreover, I said, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. And Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look upon God. Moses was pulled from the waters. He was an answer to an entire generation's misery. As Israel looked to God and cried, for they have been slaves for many generations. They knew nothing else but how to serve their masters. Though the Lord had covenant with them, they were sons of Abraham, meaning sons of covenant. But even the sons of covenant, if taken by the enemy, under an oppression of ignorance, not knowing the way out, can go through many difficulties. So they called on God. But it is say it took 430 years. Some situations are stubborn like that. Some people suffer very long. A situation that keeps on recurring year after year. So much so that it tells your identity now. When you relate to it, you do not relate to it as a situation. You relate to it as my situation. 
When somebody approaches you and say, how are you doing? You say, it is all well except my sickness. Because you see, it has been so long in you, oppressing you, that it is now a condition that you have conditioned yourself to live with. But today, I perceive in God that you will go free I from see. every stubborn, diabolical situation Jesus. of your life. For 430 years, Israel cried to God. And God heard and he sent Moses. Let me tell you something about my God. He makes everything beautiful in its time. The Bible says there is time to cry. There is also time to rejoice. There is time to sit at the back. There is time to sit at the front. Amen. I feel in the Holy Ghost that somebody's elevation is for today. I feel in the Holy Ghost somebody's testimony is for today. Your time of mourning is over. Amen. God is speaking to me that uh, your life of pain has expired today. Thank you, Jesus. The works of the enemy in your life have expired today. In Jesus name. Today, as I speak under the Holy Ghost, may you march on to the place of victory. Amen. May you testify the goodness of God. I will may see. the world looking at you notice the glory of God in you. Amen. Now please understand that for 430 years they have struggled. Have a seat if you can. They have struggled for 430 years. God sent Moses. Moses was not there as a counselor. Moses was not there as a storyteller. Moses was not there to just look at them and shake his head. Moses was not there so that they may walk together on the way of perdition. Moses was anointed with uh, an anointing that breaks the yoke. Moses was uh, a vehicle that God chose to use uh, to liberate Israel. You see, if you are struggling, if you are going through pain, what is really beneficial to you is not another person that comes to ask you questions. Are you in pain? Yes. Uh, we sigh. Decide. Can I touch it? I'm not here for it. I'm looking for a solution. Lord, send me somebody that you have selected among many. Somebody that you have pulled out of the crowd. Somebody that you have equipped yourself to stand with me in the battlefield. Lord, send me my Moses. The battle is too great. I cannot do myself. Send me somebody. Oh, who understands you? Mm. The world does not need another pastor. Right. The world does not need another church. The world, please hear me, needs different pastors and different churches. We have too many pastors, but there is no impact. We have too many churches, but yet we are still not recognized. We need fire in the house of God. Oh, yes. We need servants of God, men and women of fire. We need men and women filled in the Holy Ghost who will be our destiny changers. Amen. Nation shakers. Moses was used. Lift your hand as high as you can get. Say, Lord. Lord, as you used Moses, as you used Moses, use me today. Use me today. Say it again. Lord, as you used Moses, use me today. Say it one more time. Lord, as you used Moses, use me today. Somebody say it louder. Lord, as you used Moses, Use me today. Hallelujah. Now, God used Moses because Moses was born for a cause. He was born for a cause. And as he began to develop and grow, the Lord began to reveal the cause of his existence. If you do not know why you are around, why you are you, you try to live a life of somebody else. 
There is a reason behind you looking the way you look. There is a reason why you're coming from where you come from. There is a reason behind everything around you. God selected you for an assignment that nobody on earth is equipped and qualified for. An assignment that can only be fulfilled through you. Amen. We all know as Moses began to feel the movement of his calling in his bosom, he went to kill an Egyptian that he had seen mistreating a Jew, an Israelite. The following day, he walked the same path, but this time he did not see an Egyptian. But he saw two Israelites fighting one another. He was shocked. He rushed in the midst and said, do not fight each other. Because Moses understood Jews should not fight Jews. A child of God cannot fight a child of God. Today the church is being ripped apart by the enemy from within. Why? Because we find it okay that you throw a stone to your brother. That you insult your brother. And to our shame, sometimes we do this. Not in private. We go all out there. We enjoy it when the world applauds for us. As we kill one another. As we destroy one another. Moses understood. Brothers do not fight brothers. Sisters do not fight sisters. It is true that we are different. It is true that we will not always agree. But sometimes family maturity, you must understand that are you moving forward with your brother. There are areas where you have to agree to disagree. We may not see it the same way. You like it this way. I like it the other way. But we can still live with one another. Pointing fingers, trying to pull each other down does not favor anyone except the enemy. So as Moses jumped there and said, don't fight your brother. The Bible reports that the one who had an upper hand on his brother took an offense and said, do you also want to kill me like you killed the Egyptian yesterday? At that, Moses realized that the matter was no longer concealed, that the matter was revealed, everybody knew it. He knew that he was in trouble, for Pharaoh will come for him. This is how Moses reigned for his life. He went to exile. He remained there for 40 years. He started a new life. He married a good wife. He had good children. He was working in the company of his father-in-law, a man called Jethro, who was a priest in Midian. But yet he was also a man, a farmer. Moses, his, father, his son-in-law, was taking care of the flock, the sheep, of the father-in-law and one day as he thought that uh, he would go through life as usual he did not know that that day was the day that God has set for him you know sometimes we go through life as normal uh, sometimes we go through life expecting nothing because we have everything in control I'll go to church and after church I will walk this way some of you listen to me you have even prepared your Fair, your transport fare for the year or for the week. You know that on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I will go, I will do this because your system is built on setting things in place. That is what we call stability. But God is about to shake your waters a little bit. Oh, yeah. That which you thought that there will be fair for transportation. You'll use it for petrol or for fuel. Because I perceive a, a pedestrian uh, driving a NASCAR. God is about to change things. I will save. You, you see, we, we have certain things that, that we already set. This is how it will be. You already know that I need to leave church early and stand at the gate for my brother passing by to help me with a certain amount of money. Do we pray here? Do we send fire? You still seeing yourself broke? You still seeing yourself in need of the brother's hand? The hand that receives is under the hand that gives. Don't be like this. Give me. Give me. It is a begging evil spirit in you. Amen. Many children of God are like that. 
They are beggars. They are professional beggars. They solve all the problems through begging. As soon as there is a situation, the psyche tells them, who should I approach? Mm. I tell you, I've been through a lot in my little life. I had made a vow to myself. Begging is not my portion. Mm. There were times where I had nothing. And I, had in dif I was in difficult situation because my mind did not function in a way that I, who is next? Who should help me? I did not have it as an option. I had other options. I had other things to do. Are you hearing me? Mm -hmm. Moses had a life and the Jethro was kind to him. But because of the calling of God in his life, the Lord set him up for glory. I don't know which life you are living in. Some people you are living far away from what God had destined for you. You are living a life of compromise. You have compromised. That's why you live where you live. That's why you drive what you drive. That's why you do what you do. Moses was not called by destiny to be a shepherd. A shepherd. But because he was running away from a thing and he had not, nothing better, he became a shepherd boy. Some people are right now under the sound of my voice. Where you are is far away from the path drawn by God for your life. But today, as I do this, may restoration take place in your life. In the name of I say Jesus. may restoration take place in your life. Those of you are watching me right now, may restoration take place in your life. I may receive. God direct your path back where it's supposed to be. I, I say may God direct your path back where it's supposed to be. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I see many people today will make U turns. I receive U turns. The relationship you are in is not a relationship for you. You keep on compromising. You have compromised literally everything of you. You have no dignity anymore in this relationship. You are going through it thinking that to get better is getting worse. I pray a U-turn in your life. In the name of Jesus. I say a U-turn in your life. A U-turn in my life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now as God set Moses up, there are things that we are born with that calls us somewhere. You were going this way, but something that is stronger than you, that seems to pull you somewhere else. This is the reason why some of you are here. Something pulled you here. Some of you are watching me. Nobody told you about us. The Lord led you. You were on, on, on a device, doing your own thing, going through your own business, and suddenly an Aflukau pops up on your yeah, screen. Hear me, it's a destiny thing. Amen. It's about destiny. Something draws you. You just feel that what I'm doing is not what I'm supposed to be doing. Where I am is not where I'm supposed to be. You are being drawn somewhere. Mm. That day Moses did not wake up thinking of an experience with God. He did not know this God. He didn't grow among the slaves of, Israel, of the Israelites who some still remembered God. He grew among the Egyptians. He was exposed to all the idols. He did not know God. He had no reference to call on him. But God set him up. Do you know that today is a setup? I was saved. Do you know that you being here is not by mistake? Do you know that God with his invisible hand behind the curtain has orchestrated your being here right now? I was saved. If you are here and you can hear me, I want you to know that before this moment is over, your life will turn around. I will Save it.
I prophesy this to be so in your life. Your life is about to turn around. Amen. Lord now have Jesus. a seat. It was a setup. Now, when we talk about setup here, we are just talking that a God uh, in his uh, supremacy has decided to put things uh, in uh, motion for you without you knowing it. And that uh, he caused you to take that route because he wanted you to come to that point. Uh, because he knew that uh, if you were get gay at this very time, uh, that thing that caused you pain will disappear. And the things that uh, you looked as uh, demonic uh, will uh, disappear. God is about to do something for somebody who has come just to have church I and go home. God is about to do a shocking thing. Amen. Uh, let me try this out. I said God is about to do a shocking thing. I receive I, I know that you just came to have church. You just came to have a, a good moment in the presence of God. But I am here speaking as an authorized mouth of God. God set things in motion. He's about to do something that will shock your system. Amen. That will shock people who knew you. Amen. Those who thought that they knew you, they will not recognize you anymore. I people who yesterday despise you, they will embrace you. God is about to turn the tables around. Amen. The weak are about to become strong the poor about to become rich they also were lost about to be found who am i talking to i say receive it today in the name of jesus i receive receive this word today in the name of jesus in the name of jesus this side i say receive it today in the name of jesus receive it today in the name of jesus i have a seat amen please have a seat it was a setup. Mm. There are many ways to set somebody up. You see, if if God sees somebody who's really in need of financial miracles, and he takes a great deal of money and he places it in the chair, and he makes sure that the person comes in the area. And before the person comes in the area, because there are many chairs, he makes it to the point that uh, all the other chairs are occupied. That the only remaining chair is a chair. And under the chair, there is a provision. Now, he sends you there to the place, not telling you a thing. Now, you're just going as usual. You have not planned anything. You're just going there as normal. You, you look at this chair. It's reserved. And you find an empty chair. You, you want to go to it. They say, it's taken. Sometimes you feel bad because the chair you wanted is taken. But you do not know the plan of God. Oh, that yes. chair may have looked nice for you on the outside. But it may have not been the chair that the Lord has set for you. The only chair left is that one. It may not be as good as the chair you want, but what do I do? I just go and sit. Uh, you don't know what you are sitting on. Oh, goodness. <laughs> may I prophesy over somebody? Mm. Uh, you do not know what you are sitting on. I receive it. May I declare a word over somebody? You do not know what God has said for you where you are right now. I receive it. Now, as you sit there, you begin to feel something uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Hey! May I declare over you, your miracle will find you where you are now. I receive it. If you are watching me from Singapore, your miracle will find you in Singapore now. Amen. If you are in India, your miracle will find you right there in India. I receive. If you are watching me from Ghana, your miracle will find you now right there Somebody in receive. Ghana. If you are watching me from the basement, from the overflow, from the extension, from uh, the lobby, your miracle will find you right where you are. 
Somebody declare, I receive it. Amen. Say again, I receive it. I receive it. Hallelujah. Now have a seat. The Bible said, he went by and as he turned, he saw a burning bush. A burning bush was not necessarily a spiritual experience because of the heat waves. Those days here and there, a bush will catch fire. But this time, the bush was not consumed by the fire. He saw a bush burning, but not consumed. So he decided to himself, my goodness, what is this? Let me turn to look. There are some of you who are still far. Your miracle is here. You have seen it, but you have not turned to look. Mm, mm, mm. Hear this. Moses saw it. Then he said to himself, let me draw closer to it. Unless you engage it, you can be blessed by it. This is why we have people from across the globe coming. Because once they saw the bush on fire, the house is on fire. They do not just see it from far. They say, mm -mm. let me get that visual. Let me buy that ticket. Let me turn and look for myself. Let me engage it. The devil knows that. That's why every time you begin to engage, he comes to you and says, hey, no, 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 no. no. You don't need to go. Remain here. You must understand that it is only when Moses decided to turn to it and look that an angel of the Lord. The Bible says, the angel of the Lord. Every time you hear the angel, it speaks of Jesus Christ himself. The manifestation of Christ in the Old Testament uh, came through an angel. And it was not an angel. It was the angel. The angel of the Lord. The Lord spoke to him. He said, remove your sandals. For you are standing on holy ground. Meaning that he tapped into holy ground. He had an experience. That nobody warned him for. He had what is known as an encounter. We see thereafter his life completely turning around. An experience he had one day changed the cost of his life forever. A moment with God turned around the tables forever. You must understand, Moses was already called. But until he had an encounter, his calling was undermined. His calling was ineffective. You may be called to be a great man of God. You may be called to be a great businessman. You may be called, called to be a great mother. But until you have an encounter with God, that calling will not be effective. Yeah. For your calling, your fire inside to ignite, you need an encounter. An encounter gives value to your calling. A calling without an encounter is a wasted thing. Okay. You, you can prove to men that you are called. You, 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 you can have a video of the day confirmation to your calling has been given. But that does not guarantee that uh, you will have an impact. What guarantees that uh, your calling will impact nations and lives out there is that uh, after your calling, you had an encounter with God. Amen. The burning bush was an encounter that uh, Moses had and it changed his life. It was an experience with God. Mm. Some people know God intellectually. But they have no experience with God. They go to church every Sunday. And they come out the same. They read the Bible every day. And they remember nothing. Their life spiritually is literally empty. 
and very light. Though they call on God, it seems like their prayers are hitting a ceiling and falling down. This is a sign of somebody who has not been in the burning bush. Somebody who has no encounter. If you have an encounter, the things that used to be difficult will become easy. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. The body of Christ will be able to stand strong only when those who are called by God have an encounter. You see, there was a time in my life where everything was normal. I say everything was normal because today nothing is normal in my life. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Nothing is normal with Africa. Nothing. I am abnormal. I have made peace with it. Glory to Jesus. It's, there was a time where I got to church like everybody else. There was a time where I, I, I would just say amen to the preachings and go home. There was a time where I would be satisfied simply because I waved my hand to God until I had an encounter with God. I began to exercise my faith differently. I, I would launch in the deep. In a risky way to see the glory of God because I had an encounter. What used to be scaring today is very attractive to me. Hallelujah. There are five things that we see in the life of Moses after the encounter. The first thing that we saw Moses was enabled, empowered to confront the things he was running away from. He was in the wilderness because he was running away from Pharaoh. But after the encounter, he went to meet Pharaoh. You will have an encounter today. I receive it. You will begin to scare what used to scare you. I receive it. God will make you a destroyer. Of what the used to destroy you. Jesus. What you used to run away from. You will run to. In this season. Amen. God is about to make you different. Hear me. Something is about to happen to you. In the name of Jesus. We, we used to have. When I was growing up. We used to have in a neighborhood. A neighborhood who had a very. Please have a seat. A very energetic dog this dog will back from morning till evening you're back for literally anything it, it had so much energy and the difficulty we had was that every time we play soccer we play football and the ball ends up going to their homes the party is over not because we had no access but simply because the dog now we had a friend who came from, uh, who comes normally on holiday in the neighborhood. We kicked the ball and it went to the house. We all knew that, oh, it's finished, it's finished, okay. He's taking our stuff. He said, why? Why are you going? It's not finished. We said, no, the ball is there. We need to wait till when the family will come and they'll throw the ball back. He said, no, let go. I said, no, I'm not going. <laughs> because that little dog was vicious. The way he will launch at somebody, you feel like a, this dog means evil. It's about to really tear you apart. So we told him, but he wanted to take a chance. He was a different breed. He came from a different place. Where we were in the suburb there, everybody was fine. Everybody was living like that. Where he came from, they don't follow the rules. You know what I'm talking about? Our eyes were half open, but to him, every time he comes on the holiday, he will take leadership because his eyes were like this. So he decided to go to the house. He opened the gate and entered. He saw the ball there and he saw no dog. So he rushed to take the ball. As soon as he got the dog, the ball, the dog 
came out and attacked him. We all knew that, oh God, this poor guy that comes on holiday is about to be devoured by a little dog. To our surprise, as he took step to run, he stopped. The dog was coming, the dog stopped. <laughs> Probably the dog was thinking, why are you stopping? <laughs> he stopped, the dog stopped. He turned, the dog looked, and he started launching after the dog. Oh, the dog ran. Glory to Jesus. <laughs> The dog ran, still barking, but this time not barking to attack, barking for help. <laughs> Hear me. After your encounter, that dog that has been after you will run from you. I Who am I talking to? I receive after today, that little devil that has been launching attacks on you. We'll fly away. Please have a seat. The first thing that we see in the Moses, the things that uh, chased him away, he ran to. The things that uh, scared him yesterday, he's scared today. God is about to give you something this year that will make you so strong. I say so strong. I receive. You will confront the devil. I receive. He will give you boldness. You will go in the name of the Lord. Amen. You look at cancer and say, cancer, you will not reign over my body anymore. I receive. You will speak to HIV and say, by the blood of Jesus, I am cleansed and healed. Amen. You have no stronghold in my hand. You gotta have an encounter. The reason why many people have been running away in the body of Christ over little devils is because of lack of experience. Right. We asked our friend when he came out, we were applauding him, applauding for him. We asked him, How did you do this? He said, Ah, I met more vicious dog than this one. He had an encounter. Right. His previous encounter told him when he was ready, he said, Oh, no, not this one. I met greater than this. You gotta have an encounter with God. Once you have an encounter with God, you won't be afraid anymore. Amen. You won't be afraid anymore. I you will arise strong. Who am I talking to? I the second thing we see. In Moses, after this, Moses was literally in the land of the Midianite and nobody. He had lost literally everything he had, everything he could hold on to. He was a nobody. But after the encounter, he became a somebody. Amen. Hear me. In this new season, don't look at your academic qualification. Don't look at your family name. Don't look at your address. Mark my word. They will roll a red carpet for you. I receive it. I don't know who I'm speaking to. But my name is Aflukau. I receive. I speak on behalf of my master. The Lord of glory. The king of kings. He says in this season. Don't look at your academic qualification. Don't consider your experience in life. Amen. Don't lean on your network. Amen. Don't look at your family name. Amen. Don't turn to your address. Amen. They will roll red carpet for you. Oh, red for God is making a somebody out of a nobody. I receive it. They say only one percent, one third of the current billionaires that are living on the face of the earth is what I call old money, meaning it came from generation. One third. 
meaning the two-thirds of Bilonians today, had no trace, no root of billions yesterday. Ah, God is increasing more billionaires. I say God is increasing them. I receive. Some head of states today, if you interview them and say, while growing up, did you see this coming? They'll say, I don't know. I could not see this. It was not in me. Mm. But God pulled it out. Hey, God is about to shock the world I with you. I said, God is about to shock the world the with you. Jesus. Is there anybody who's receiving it? This is my word. I receive it. I speak on behalf of Yahweh. I decree and I declare a turnaround in your life. I receive. I have a seat if you can. He was a nobody. He became a somebody. Look at you after the fast. Hey! Oh, yes. Look at you after the fast. I receive Hey! Hey! I receive. Woo! Those who mocked you will admire you. Oh, yes. They looked at you yesterday and said, who are you? Now they'll go, how are you? Amen. The table's about to turn around. I receive You it. may be a nobody to them now, but you are going to become a somebody in the side. I receive it. Somebody get ready. You will about to employ your employer. I receive uh, Did you hear that? You will employ your employer. I receive it. When they talk about job creation, you are about to create so many jobs that the city will take In time to thank Jesus. you, to honor you, to award you. This is my word I receive. Pull yourself together. Pull yourself together. Uh, you're not just anybody. Uh, fix yourself. Yeah. You can't have an encounter with God and remain. Something good is about to happen to you. Please, I have a seat. The third thing that we see in the life of Moses, as a result of the burning bush experience, the encounter he had with God, he used to be powerless. His master plan was to kill one Egyptian at a time to release Israel. And if those days Egypt had a population of four million people, he could have taken him four million days. He was powerless. First confrontation with his brother, he ran for his dear life. But after the encounter, he became powerful. Hallelujah. Before the encounter, he was powerless. After the encounter, he was powerful. You see, after you had an encounter with God, you can't be the same weak, crying baby. Amen. The power of the living God will begin to operate in you. The power of the almighty God will begin to vibrate in, in you. I am Jesus. prophesying that the power of God will arise in you. I, I am see. speaking to somebody that the power of God will arise in you. Oh, I somebody say power. Power. The kingdom of God is not a matter of talk, but yes. of power. From today, you will walk in power. I will walk I say, in power. from today, you shall walk in power. I receive. Who am I talking to? I say, from today, you shall walk in power. I receive. Somebody say, give me power. Give me power. You see, the devil knows those who have it. Right. Glory to Jesus. The devil knows those who have it. 
I'm talking about the anointing power of God. Hallelujah. Those of you out there uh, in the sun, those in the overflows, the power of God is coming. Amen. Those who are watching me live, the power of God is coming. I Somebody had a power. Power. The fourth thing, please have a seat. The fourth thing that we see in the life of Moses after the burning bush experience, the encounter he had with God. Moses did not know God before, but thereafter, he knew God. God himself came to him and introduced himself to him. He said, I am the Lord God of your fathers. He did not know that. He probably never knew that there is an Abraham. Probably. He said, I am the Lord God of your fathers. And he listed them. God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Not that God is the God of the dead, but God is a covenant keeping God. What he had promised to Abraham, it was seen in Isaac and in Jacob, and it was about to pop out in the life of Moses. A new God. The Bible said the people that know their God, they shall be strong. Amen. Knowing your God will empower you. Amen. Will give you strength. Amen. The encounter brought knowledge to Moses. The knowledge I'm referring here to is not a, an intellectual knowledge. It was an experience. A yada. Today the body of Christ is filled with men and women who know about God. They know everything about him, but they do not know him. The experience with God brought him to know. You got to know him. You, you have to know him. God must no longer just be a God you hear in church. He must be your God. When you take your shower, you know I'm not alone. He is here with me. He is my God. The only one who will never leave you, nor forsake you. He will be with you every day till the end of time. He does not need a visa to cross the border with hey. you. He said, come winds or high water. I am here in your life. I am here holding your hand. You got to know him. John 9 speaks of a man who was born blind. And after encountering Jesus Christ, his eyes opened. Men came and they tried to convince him that Jesus Christ was a fraud star. Because you see, with miracles, miracles go beyond us. That's right. Many people, many believers believe that the miracles do not exist. They remove it out of the land because it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. I love things that doesn't make sense. All my life, I had desired that. I have exercised my faith. So they came to him and tried to convince him that, uh, hey, give God glory because we know this man is a sinner. Meaning that uh, he, he is staging these miracles. It is not true. It is uh, uh, out of uh, evil powers that he's doing this. He's a sinner. The man say, if he's a sinner or not, I do not know. But one thing I know, I was blind. Oh, yes. And now I can see. Hallelujah. I don't know about him. I don't know everything you say. One thing I know. Because you see, you cannot have an encounter. You were blind. Your eyes open. Did you see the blind man on Friday? Oh, yes. For how long was he blind again? For seven years. That's right. His eyes opened. It took less than two minutes. Did you see how he was looking at himself? Oh my goodness. Now, this man, that, that man was born, was blind for seven years. John 9 speaks of a man who was born blind. And the Bible says he was of age. He could have been 40. And his eyes opened. They're trying to convince him that God, Jesus Christ is not God. There are people, if you tell them Pastor Half is not true, they will stone you. Not because I'll tell them to stone you. It's because they have experienced my God firsthand. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Are you hearing me? Once you have an encounter, you know. I may have 
have no argument on what you're saying, but one thing I can tell you. I was blind. And now, is there anybody who has that testimony here? Is there anybody who can testify God in this place like this? Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. He knew God. And the last thing, he developed in intimacy with God. He could speak to God. The Bible speaks of the relationship between God and Moses. It was more than a relationship between a man and his boss. They spoke. They conversed. A level of intimacy that you can only have after you had an encounter with God. And Moses said to the Lord, and the Lord said to Moses, and Moses replied, and the Lord said, he had an encounter. Is that possible that a man can converse with God? Yes. No, well, if, if it's not possible, you must uh, tear off some pages of your Bible. Meaning that uh, some part of your Bibles are no longer relevant. If it was possible yesterday, it is possible now. Amen. But you see, you have to have an encounter. The proof that you had an encounter is not in your title. The proof that you had an encounter with God does not lie in your title. True. Because you are called an apostle does not imply that you had an, an encounter. Right. The mere fact that you are a bishop, an archbishop, I thank God for the bishops, does not imply automatically that you had an encounter. The proof of an encounter is not in your mere life experience that you have a UCV. You have been in this organization. You have been in this church. You can be in a Bible school, graduate, and still not have an encounter. True. Once you have an encounter, the fruits are clear. The glory of God will be made manifest through you. If we do not see the glory of God through you, it's possible you did not have it yet. If you do not know God by experience, you have not tested him. It's clear you did not have an encounter. I pray today that uh, you may have an encounter with God. In the name of Jesus. And if there is somebody here who said that I already had one encounter, I pray that you may have a greater encounter with I God. I receive it. That uh, you may experience him to be the healer. Mm. He heals. There is no sickness he cannot heal. Amen. There is no disease he cannot heal. Amen. That you may experience him to be the provider. He provides. He opens doors. Lift your hand and pray the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Speak to God in the Holy Ghost. Remain seated and pray in the Holy Ghost. Speak to God. Pray, speak to God. Oh, pray, speak to God. He's a healer. Somebody's getting healed today. Somebody's getting healed today. Somebody's life will turn around today. I receive it. Pray, speak to God. Lift your hands. Say, Oh Lord. Oh Lord. 
Meet me at the point of my need. Meet me at the point of my need. May I encounter you. May I encounter you. Oh God. Oh God. Change my life. Change my life. Turn my life around. Turn my life around. I receive my miracle today. I receive my miracle today. Through this experience. Through this experience. The world will know. The world will know that you are indeed my God. That you are indeed my God. You are a good God. You are a good God. You are a faithful God. You are a faithful God. Begin to pray in that direction. Pray, speak to God. Pray to have an experience with God. Pray that you may experience God. Pray that you may experience God. Lift your hands, say, I take, I take authority against every evil power, against every evil power released against my life, released against my life. Every spirit of stagnation. Every spirit of stagnation. Every spirit of no progress. Every spirit of no progress. The blood of Jesus is against you. The blood of Jesus is against you. Take authority against every power of the enemy. Command that devil to leave. Command that devil to leave. Command that devil to leave. Go. Take authority. Yes, 
In Jesus' name, Holy Spirit, move me now and make my life whole again. Spirit, move over me. Spirit, move me. Holy Spirit, move me. Move me now. Make my life whole again. Make my life all again. Spirit, spirit, move all over. Oh, yeah, spirit, Whoa. Lift your hand and speak to the Holy Spirit to fill you up, to lead you in this moment. Yes, it is through the Holy Spirit that your encounter is secure. You, speak to the Holy Ghost. Move me now. My Make my life all again. All again. Spirit, Spirit, Spirit of God. Spirit. Spirit. Spirit of God, move. Spirit, move. Oh, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, move me now. Make my life whole again. Make my life whole again. Spirit, Spirit. God's eyes are on you. Today, God begins to do something new. There are families here that God want to touch. There are people that God want to touch. Your lives will never be the same again. The Lord is speaking right now. Your life will never be the same again. The angels of God are here. The evil creatures that have set on you are no more there. Amen. I receive. They are Amen. gone. They are gone. Thank you, they Jesus. Are gone. Amen. Amen. Somebody Amen. celebrate Jesus. Woo. The Spirit of the Lord is taking me to KwaZulu Natal. Beatrice, 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 come here, my daughter. Come here. Spirit. Something is happening, and it's happening for you too. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, oh, I knew it. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. 
Zorobo Sete. Romo Soto. Look at me. Are you Beatrice? Yes. Yes. Dokozile. Yes. Yes. Zuma. Jesus. My God. Yes. 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 Is that you? Something spiritual is happening oh, right yes. here. Oh. And may what God is doing now oh. may locate you too. I receive. You prayed for me last night. I prayed for you last you night. You prayed for me. There was like a lightning from the head through my toe. It came out. Jesus oh, is Lord. Ah, mm. oh, you prayed for me. Oh, Jesus. Thank you for remembering me. Thank the Lord you, has remembered you too. Thank you, Jesus. Wherever you may be, God has remembered you too. Hallelujah. She, she, she had an encounter with God. And he saw, she saw me in a dream. As I spent my night on my knees praying for each one of you, a miracle is for today. Hallelujah. But hear me. Are you married? No. You don't married? No. Is there anybody in your life? No one. Are you in a relationship with anybody? No. 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 Do this. Look at me. Do this. Jesus. Hallelujah. I receive. Bora Kasata. Do it again. Now, hear me. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Something is happening. God, God, God is removing shame from you. Oh. Now, do, do it here. Open it. 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 Okay. Okay. Now, do this. Bring it in. 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 Now, in case you are out there, you're wondering, why is he doing this? Is it some kind of Gregory's and the encounters? Leave me alone. <laughs> what I'm leading him to do is to motivate his faith through prophetic act. Are you hearing me? Amen. It is an act that I believe will motivate his faith because it reflects what is happening in his life. Doors that are closed must open up. Amen. Is like, she, she, she says she's not in a relationship. She's not married. Uh, that is confusion in her life. Mm. I say confusion. Now I say, how many children do you have? I don't have any. I don't have any. You see, the reason why I say open here is because she has none. But you're trusting God for a child. I do. I but do. the doctor says you cannot have a child. Because according to doctors, yes. this cannot carry they remove everything you cannot carry. Yes! Listen to this. It is literally impossible if you have no womb, no ovaries, and so forth, that you may have a child. When doctors say that you cannot have a child, they do not curse you by saying that they're not cursing you. Don't send fire to the doctor. You see, the doctors will tell you what is real. They speak to you about reality, your state, your current state. So though you refuse the state, do not... Attack the doctor. 
is doing his part. Remember, faith does not deny reality. That's right. Faith transforms it. Amen. Once you get that, though you may reject those statements, you know, and say, I don't want it in my spirit, but don't make the doctor feel like a, he's an evildoer. Are you hearing me? We have a lot of doctors here. But what men cannot do? Oh, yes. God can do. Hallelujah. Are you hearing me? Amen. And hear me. Every impossibility is a seed to birth a, a miracle. miracle. If there is an impossibility in your life, a miracle is about to come forth. I will say. Let me tell you. God is about to do something wonderful in your life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Papa. Today, your faith has been answered. Oh, thank you, Papa. Thank you, Papa. Thank you, Don't Papa. move away from God. I will never. I will never. Remain oh. in God. Yes, I've been to God. I see God yes. opening doors. Yes. Yes. Those evil yes. bets that have been causing you pain yes. are gone. Yes. Thank you, Thank Jesus. You. And they are stricken by the fire Thank you, of Jesus. the Holy Ghost. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Stand up. Lift your hands. Stretch your hands to Jesus. Him. Father, I thank you for a wonderful miracle is about to happen. Jesus. Lord, I thank you for what eyes have not seen. Thank you, Lord. What ears have not heard. Thank you, Jesus. What the mind of man has not conceived. The things which you have prepared mm. for those who love you are about to take place for your daughter. Do it, O oh Lord, that the world may know that Jesus, you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. My name is Af Lokau. I serve God. Today, I release you from your misery, yes. from your shame, yes. from your pain. May my God show up in your life. In Take Jesus a miracle. Name. Take it! Jesus. In, in the, the name, name of, of Jesus. Jesus. May you Thank never you be the same again. In the name of Jesus. Somebody say, I receive what is mine. I receive what is mine. I stretch my hands towards you. Name of Jesus. I stretch my hands towards you. Amen. Zorobo Sete. What only God can give, may it begin to give you. I receive it. Once you have an encounter with God, Encounter speaks of an experience. Mm. It is an experience with God. Amen. Show me those photos. Is that your family? Is that your family? Please come. Glory to Jesus. from originally <laughs> not Germany where are you from I'm from Kenya yes and I live in Germany that's true you live in Germany but yes. you're from Kenya yes how, how did you come to know hallelujah ministries I, 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 I don't know I just found it on I, I found it on the screen and I you started found it following on the screen last year and I started following you man of God and this is my first time here, and I knew today is my day. Glory. As All the right. brother sang there, I knew today was my day. He sang something, and I knew today was my day. They sang something He's, there. Yes, and, and, and then as you he knew. sang, I knew today was my day. I said it today. Jesus. Oh, thank, thank you, you Jesus. So they sang something, and you knew it was your day. Yes. Is that what you say? That's what you say. 
once you heard them it's your first time you yes. come from germany but yes. originally from kenya yes but but let, let me let me see this let me see this why do you guys not write on the photos but karen <laughs> karen joy yes that's her name Mother this joy. is joy yes, that's the problem is with joy yes, that's her name. five Mother years yes. Yes. they took joy away yes. from you is oh that true God. Don't worry, oh I'm bringing God. joy break. Oh my God. I'm seeing Anne. Yes, that's my sister. Yes. And oh this is Anne's husband yes. and the children. Yes. Oh my God, yes. 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 Is that your family? Oh God. Now, now some of you are, are thinking, Pastor, how do you read it? You got to see. Spirit of revelation. I'm just trying to tell you. Thank you. There is a God who loves you. Oh, yes. And he knows you by name. Amen. This is joy. You're trusting God for joy's comeback. Yes, yes, yes. God has seen you. This is Anne. Yes. This is Peter. Yes, oh my God, yes. Yes. Peter yes. is your brother. Yes. Oh this is God. Peter's wife. Yes. And this is the child they have. Yes, God. Yes, man of God. The wife of Peter is saying, give me another one. Yes, yes man of God. She's yes. asking for another child. Yes. I will give you the child so you can take it. Oh Hallelujah. God. Oh my God. Yes. Oh my God. Oh. Yes. Oh my God. Oh. I'm seeing here. This is your aunt. Yes. Yes. Agnes. Yes. 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 My God. Yes. This is Agnes. Your, your, yes. Oh my God. You, you must tell your aunt. Please. Yes. Oh my she God. must not give up because yes. I'm seeing her in the first marriage. Yes. I'm seeing her in the second yes. marriage. Yes. Things are very tough. Yes. How yes. many children does she have? She has five children. She has five well, children. Two, two, two husbands. Yeah, first marriage and second marriage. Yes. The yes. daughter that was in Dubai. Yes. Yes, Father of God. Yes. Yes. Champions yes. of wrong decision. Yes. I see she had a daughter. Yes. Who was fine working in Dubai. Yes, yes. She was a hotel manager in Dubai. She was yes. in hotel, a yes. hotel manager yes. in Dubai. Yes. Now she meets somebody. And yes. follows the guy. Yes, yes. Is that true? Yes, she followed him to Mozambique. Yes, yes. Leaves the job. Yes. A good paying job yes. in Dubai as a hotel manager. Yes. Meet somebody online. Yes, yes. And leaves the job to go to Mozambique. Yes. Now in Mozambique, things are not well. Exactly. You see, when the devil is after you. Oh my God. My day. Mm. It, will, it will confuse your mind. That's right. It will my cause day. you to take decision today that will destroy your life completely. Yes. Amen. Now she's crying over yes. her children. Yes. Yes. Is this a, the son? Yes. Is it yes. the last one? Yes. Yes. Her last born. This yes. is the last born. Yes. Yes. This is the last born yes. of your aunt. Yes. Now let me tell you, I want to pray for you. For your entire family, yes. even this last born. Yes. This boy has a good mind, but no job. That's true. An engineer, yes. IT engineer. That's true. That's true. Man of God. That's true. Glory oh my God. But no job. That, yes, that's true. No job. No job. Stand up. Mm. If God can see people through photos, oh my goodness, something good is about to happen to you. I receive. Somebody receive. I, hear me. I want to pray for you and pray for the family. Yes. But I'm praying for two things. Yes. I see you, you love teaching. I'm a teacher, mother are you, of God. Are you a teacher? Yes, I'm a teacher, mother of God. But things are so tough that you say that I'm, because I'm seeing you speaking of uh, going to, uh, to UK. I, I've actually quit my job. I'm leaving to go to the UK. So I came here as my bus stop. Uh, so you, you already even left because yeah. you're going to UK. Yes. To start again. Yes. I cannot stop you to go to UK because somebody in your family that you've been looking for, you'll meet, you meet her in UK. I'm talking about Sandra. Yes, man of God. For She's two on the photo. Yes, it's true. She's on I the saw photo. her on the photo. Yes. That's why I'm saying that. Yes. She, she disappeared. Depression. Yes, that's true. I'm praying that you may oh, see Sandra God. again. Amen. By the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh my God. I am oh. praying for joy. Yes. Oh my God. What happened? Did you beat up Joy? We had our usual conflicts, man of God. I do not deny it. Sorry? We had our usual conflict. 
Yes, we fought. Mm. I didn't ask about conflict. We fought. Did you beat? Yes, Joy? I did. All right. Yes, I did. Nice. Because I'm seeing a mark on Joy. Yes, here, her hand. Yeah. And it was one big thing. No. A simple thing. Yes. It left a mark. Yes. And then now, they took your child. Things are difficult. Yes. But don't worry. You came to Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. May God meet you at the point of your need. In the name of Jesus. See, to correct children is important. And the road, as the word says, can deliver a child for foolishness. As long as it's done in love, according to the word of God, and it is not abusive. I know society has set boundaries now that sometimes makes parenting very difficult. You have not abused your child because you love your child. That's true. Somebody do this. Let's call for a turnaround. A In turnaround. In the name of Jesus. Oh God. You're getting married. Turn around again. Oh yeah. <laughs> You're getting married. Turn around. Okay, okay. Stretch your hands to order. Bless her, bless her, bless her. The Lord is opening doors for you. Amen. The Lord is remembering you. Your Amen. child is coming back home. Thank Amen. you, Jesus. The Lord is opening Amen. doors. He's re he is re-establishing you. Amen. Manamasete. Whatever blocked you, leaves you now. In, the name in Jesus' of name. Jesus. Receive it. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Something new in my life. Oh, Lord. Something new in my life. Something new in my life. see in the Holy Ghost, there is a woman here. You have an issue. You have a matter. As I'm praying, and the Lord is showing me a daughter, Joy, coming back. The Lord showed me in a vision. There is a woman here. You have a problem. You're married to a man called Christopher. And you have a child with this man beside your auntie, other children. The woman I'm talking about, you have a tooth that is missing. I'm seeing a small tooth. Because in November, your husband beat you up over what happened with that child. She's coming Hi. on that side. No, no, this, this is not the lady. This is not the lady. This is not the lady. The lady I'm talking about does not have a tooth. It's not this lady. Because I'm seeing a picture. There is a tooth missing. You have a tooth missing. Your husband's name is Christopher. Christopher. You beat up a child in June. Is that you? This smaller kid. I saw short hair. That one is all short hair. Look, look at me. Is that you? Oh, it's me, Pastor. Oh, it's me, Pastor. Look at me. Look at me. Oh. Cool down. Cool, cool down. Oh. Look at me. Oh. Oh. Is your husband Christopher? Oh, it's my husband, Pastor. You, it's my husband. You beat up the child. This it's child is true. Christopher's child. It's true, the of name God. of the child it's is uh, uh, Chris Junior. It's true, man of God. It's my son, my stepson. Look at me. Oh. This child grew up with you. 
When did you take the child to live with you? When, she, when he was three years old, I raised this child. You raised the child. Amen. The child is now 12 years old. Exactly, my pastor. So you <laughs> raised this child from three years old Amen. to 12 years old. Amen. God is saying that uh, you and your husband fought on the 15th of November or so. He beat you up and you lost your teeth. Is that true? It's true, my pastor. I don't have the teeth. You, you, you're missing one tooth. Yes, my Can I see that? Can I see you? you, can you? Oh, sorry. Did, did you see that? Like, because it pains me a lot. Ooh. Look, look at me. Can, can I see that? It's here, pastor. Devil is a liar. This is what I saw. Look at me, woman. Have you ever spoken to me before? No. Did you speak to somebody about your tooth? No, no. Now, if you look at her now, if you look at her face, is it obvious that she has no tooth? It's not obvious. But let me tell you, the tooth that uh, came off, it had a bit of gold on it. It's exactly past. It's true past. That tooth pains me a lot. I can't even smile because of this tooth. You can't even smile. I can't even smile. Okay, now, God want to change this because I'm seeing you are uh, due to go to court over the matter of you beating the child. Exactly, Pastor. You are going to court on the 31st of January. It's Is that correct? True, Pastor. Is it's that correct? True. Yes, Pastor. Now, what happened? I see a child coming from school. Exactly. And what happened? I was cleaning and he entered the, the house where I was cleaning and I started to beat him. Okay, but why did you beat the child? Because he entered. No, I was cleaning. I tell him, don't enter here. I'm just cleaning now. And he entered, he entered. the house. What did he tell you? He said, did, he, did he speak back to you? Yes, pastor. He said, this is not your, your house. It's my father's house. And he insulted me. I can't even talk about it. You can't even talk about it? Yes, pastor. The child came. And you stopped the child who came from school from entering where you were cleaning. Yes. Meaning that uh, probably the child's feet were dirty. Yes, Or pastor. dusty or muddy. Yes, pastor. Yes, so you wanted true. to prevent the, the, the place you worked in. You said, don't come in. Is yes. that what you're saying? Yes, pastor. And the child answered you and says, it's not your house, it's my father's house. My father's house. house. Yes, pastor. He, he insulted me, pastor. And then you decided to beat the child. Yeah, yeah. But I'm seeing blood here. Did, did you cause that blood? The yes, child? Pastor. Yes, you beat pastor. the child and the child was bleeding. Yes, it was not in my intention to do that, Pastor. It was not your intention? Yes, Pastor. So you beat the child, the child was bleeding? Yes, Pastor. But when the child was bleeding, the child ran out, went to the aunt, the aunt of the mother, not you, and they came together. Is that correct? Yes, Pastor, it's true. It's true, Pastor, it's true. It's true, man of God. Your misery started in that house that day. Because this child already was speaking to the sister, to the biological mother. And uh, when that happened, they went there, she, he went there with blood. That is how they went to open a case against you. It's true, Pastor. Is that true? It's true, Pastor. It's true. Did you tell somebody about what I'm telling you? No, I didn't tell You didn't. I didn't. Because I am seeing the lady coming, you know, <laughs> screaming, and she's she was with a detective. Yes, Pastor. Is that true? Yes, Pastor. A detective called Maluleka. Yes, Pastor. It's true. It's true, man of God. It's true. Ooh. Is that correct? Yes, Pastor. Now, look at this. She got arrested because she beat a child. She came out on the bail of 1,000 rand. Yes, Pastor. It's true. Uh, I was there in the cell, Pastor. You were in, in the cell? Yes, Pastor. In the jail cell? Yes. You came and you're supposed to be in court on the 12th of November? Yes, Pastor, it's true. And they postponed it for the 31st of January? Yes, Pastor. Your husband after court, three days after so, that's when you fought together? Yes, Pastor. And uh, he beats you and you lost your tooth? Yes, Pastor. It's true, I'm living in an abusive relationship 
Oh, Pastor. You are in a, re in a abusive relationship. Yes, Pastor. No, you are not. You are in a relationship of misunderstanding. Yes, because Pastor. he's blaming you. Yes. You are blaming him. Yes, you Pastor. say here that is abusive relationship. Yes. If I have to ask him and say, I married the wrong woman. Today, God will bring peace. The storm will stop. Yes. Receive it. You know, blaming, blaming game is not what you gotta do. God is restoring you. But look, you have a situation over that child because the child was bleeding and the yes, child Pastor. spoke a lot. Yes. When you go on the 31st, yes. it will not be, be very well because I'm seeing a woman judge that will want to teach you a little lesson. Yes, Pastor. Somebody lift your hand and say, Mercy. Pray for me. Mercy. Somebody say, Mercy. Mercy. Look, I wanna pray. I'm praying for mercy. I'm praying that God may change your situation mm -hmm. and favor you because it was just home issues. Yes, but you must Pastor. take a decision not to do that. Yes, Pastor. You know, in parenting, being a parent of a child that is not directly yours, your spouse, either your wife or your husband's child, requires a lot of wisdom. Yes. No matter what you do, Oftentimes, the child will take it as because you are not my parent. That's what you do in this. And uh, on the other side, the spouse, the other spouse, the true biological parent of that child will always take the side of the child. Even when he doesn't speak or she doesn't speak, it will always be, could it be that uh, she or he is mistreating my own? It requires a lot of wisdom. Parenting a child that is not yours is possible. And it happens. You can adopt a child that's not even your spouse. You can adopt an uncle's child. You can adopt a neighbor's child. But I pray that God may grant you wisdom. Wisdom. Amen. And parents must know. As a parent, you have responsibility to lead your children right. One of the key things, if you want to be a good parent, that you have to give your children before food is love. Right. Don't just believe that you love them. Let them be convinced that you love them through the works that you present to them. This situation could have been avoided. And right now, it's a very difficult matter. Simply because of some excess. Over cleaning the house, now there is a permanent problem. But God is a merciful God. Amen. He will turn things around even for you out in there. In the name of Jesus. I want you for a minute to stretch your hand for a turn around. God, 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 God. Pray, pray for her. We are praying for mercy. And we are praying for peace between you in and Christopher, your husband. We are praying that God may do something. Rama Mazete. Pray for her. Pray for her. In the name of Jesus. Pray for her. Pray for her. Everybody lift your hand and pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray for yourself. Pray for yourself. Ask the grace of God for you. Ask the grace of God for you. I am coming here for you, Maureen. I'm hearing Maureen. Maureen, 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 Maureen. Maureen. Don't look back, Maureen. Stand up. Is that you? Is that you? Don't look back. The Lord is saying, Maureen, Maureen. Maureen, Maureen. Are you Maureen? I am, Pastor. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Is it KwaZulu Natal or is. UK? Both. It's Older. both. From uh, KZN, but I live in UK. All right. Because Thank I'm seeing Jesus. KwaZulu Natal and yes. I'm seeing United Kingdom. So yes. you say both. Yes. You are from KwaZulu Natal. But living in UK. But you live in UK. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Masaya Basete. Yes, Lord. Do you come to church here every time you come yes, around? Father. Yes, Papa. Yes, Pastor. This is your first time, your second, your third, your fourth? My, my fifth time. This is your fifth time? Fifth time yes. Every time you come from UK, I you come here. here. Yes, all the time. This is? Yes, because I believe. Because, because you believe. Because you are my spiritual father. Am I yeah, your spiritual you, father? You are my Moses. Woo! Glory my to Moses. Jesus. This is my last stop, Pastor. With this whom are you here? Stop. With I'm whom my, are you here? My husband and my brother and my friends. Over there. Okay, what I need 
to do will go through your husband. Where is he? My husband, come. My husband. Come, my husband. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. This is but now you know what I'm you, where I'm going to. Thank you, Father. Who's Sipo? He's my husband, Sipo. Are you Sipo? Yes, Pastor. KwaZulu Natal or United Kingdom? Um, both, Pastor. Both. We work, we work in the UK, but... You work in the UK? Yeah. Because I see people in the hospital. Yes, I work in the hospital, Pastor. I see a nurse. Yes, Pastor. And I see an assistant nurse. Exactly. You are a nurse. I'm a nurse. And you? It's the nurse. You are an assistant nurse. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Mazote Oboshi. Sir, come, you with the glasses, come, 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 come here. Zara Babo City. When God decides that your life is turning around now, nothing can stop it. Amen. Hear this. You've been trusting God that God may give you children. Yes, and that now everything seems to be very tight. Very tight. But God is saying to me, Jesus. I should pray for you. Because something good is beginning to happen to you this year. There will be a turnaround in your life. The reason why I say that your husband must come. Because you see, we cannot pray for children just like that. If your husband is here. The miracle of God is about to embrace the two of you. Receive it. Somebody lift your hands toward them. Rebe Sata. Do you believe God is able to do that? I believe because I trust in you. You are my most this pastor. But in my house, I've got your pictures. In my house, because I believe. And I have an encounter with you, Pastor. While I was in UK, you came to me, Pastor. And you hugged me like this. And said, my daughter, you are covered. You are protected. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you Father. And uh, about a week, Pastor, I was involved in a car accident. But I came, I came through with nothing. I came outside with nothing, Pastor. Because I believe that wherever I go, you are my Moses. You are my pastor. Amen. Somebody receive that for you too. I receive. God, God, God is giving you a miracle that you've been trusting him for. Thank you, Lord. And you too. Thank you, Jesus. Serve God together. Amen. Serve God together. You, this year you, is your year no, of the yes. overflow. I receive it. God will give you the desires of your heart. Stretch your hands toward them. As we pray for them, we pray for them. Receive it. Name of Jesus. Romo Sete. Do you come to church here? Yes, it's for my third time. This is your? My third time. This is your third time. Where are you from, sir? I'm from Botswana. You are from Botswana? Yes. Is there anybody who came from Botswana? We are all here. All right. I'm also from Botswana. Yeah, I'm, I'm from Gaboron. My friend. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You came with my friend Kaho. You came with your friend Ago. Yeah, yeah. Kaho. Kaho. Yeah. <laughs> so you you inviting him? He's inviting me. We are. <laughs> Kaho, I pray for you. You pray for you. So I called you, you called him. Yes. Because we it's like that again. now. Pardon? <laughs> it's like that now. I call you, you call him. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, Pastor. It's like that. Yes, Pastor. <laughs> Hear me. Something good is about to happen. I receive, receive it. Jehovah Shama See you everywhere Blessed Redeemer Your glory fills the earth Everlasting Father The one who watches me I put my confidence alone in Jehovah Shama Jehovah Shama you everywhere. I see you everywhere. Blessed, 
Blessed Redeemer. This is your friend. That's my friend. I didn't call you. I yeah. called him. Yes. But I'm, because you came here. I'm the one who paid for his journey. Ah. <laughs> so you, you are the one who. His payback time. Who, who, who assisted yes. him to be here. Yes. All right. Nevertheless. Yes. I called him. Oh, yes. Amen. But because he called you, yes. the eyes of God are on you. Oh, yeah, man. Hear me. As you will serve God with your finances, yes. if you will commit for it, today, something will happen. Oh, I receive. Are you hearing me? Yes. Something will happen. Amen. Something big will happen in your Amen. finances. Amen. I am seeing you in construction, yes. but I'm also seeing you surveying. It's like a... Uh, Underground what, what, water, water. Amen. Amen. Yes, I've got a company. Is that what you do? Yes, that's what I'm doing. And this is uh, my company. Underwater survey. Yes. That's my company. The groundwater. Um. This is your company. Yes. But right now it's not working as it's supposed to. You are trusting God for more. Yes. As He touches <laughs> my altar. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. May miracle begin. In the name of Jesus. I am think, I'm seeing two, two boys. Are you hearing me? I'm yes. seeing two boys. They're, they're, they're photos are here. You have I've, two boys? Yes, I've got How many children are. all together? The, Look at me. Oh, yes. How many children do you have I've all together? two boys. The two boys I'm seeing, mm. those are the only children you have. Yes. Is that so? Yes. Your first son, I'm seeing a 24 or so child. Yes, yes. Yeah, that's Paco. Paco. Th that's your that's child. He's 24 years old. Yes. This boy carries a different grace. Mm. I am seeing him in accounting. Yes, that's true. He has done Sima. Sorry? He has done Sima. He has done Sima. Yes. Your child, both, the first one, I'm seeing a 24 and 18 or so. Eight, yes. Those are your children. Those are my, my two boys. I am praying for the grace of God, not only in your business, uh -huh. but it will also be in your children's life. Oh, amen. You, you, you have a good heart. Thank you. And yes. God want to position you in the kingdom to serve him. Oh, yes. You serve God with finances. Yes. But I'm hearing God is saying, if you remain faithful to his path, oh, yes. if you will keep on keeping on, walking yes. according to him, yes. what is about to do with you will be a shock first to yourself. Oh, yes. You will look at yourself in the mirror and say, is this me? Oh, yes. God is about to do something great. Amen. Everybody lift your hands. Thank you. Rama Mazoto, Roko Toshoto. I am blessing you, blessing your business. I am praying the grace of God over you. In the name of Jesus. Take it! Receive it. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Now you can go. I gave it to him. You can go. You still want it? Yes. No, but you, you called him. He'll give it to you at home. He'll lay hands on you at home. Okay, just come, just come. I was joking. I think there will be battles out there. <laughs> Next time I won't call you. <laughs> Say restoration three times. Say restoration, restoration, restoration. Restoration, restoration, restoration. Not too quickly. You said restoration, oh. restoration, restoration. No. Restoration, restoration, restoration. Restoration, restoration, restoration. Hear me. God is showing me that uh, whatever the devil stole from you, this season, God is restoring it. I receive. Look, you have been abused. Your kindness has been taken as weakness. Right in your home. With your wife, or should I say ex-wife? Yes, sir. How many children do you have together? Two. 
you have two children together. Yes. Because I am seeing her pregnant and I'm seeing her giving birth. And that, that was what divided you. It's true. Because the pregnancy that she carried and the child she gave birth, was it yours? No, sir. Your kindness has been taken as naivety. Your own, I'm talking about uh, your wife. Your wife. True. How can you bring another child after so long being married to your husband? Hey. The devil is wicked. Hey! And shamelessly, you gave birth. And the church is a baby boy. Is that true? It's true, man of God. All right. She's not a devil. She made a mistake, but that is a colossal mistake. She's not a devil. She just made a mistake that is a very bad mistake. And now, even as I speak, she's paying because her heart is not well. Even the one who impregnated her, your wife, it's not even a normal man. It's not free. They cannot carry on together. Do you understand? Yes. Does she have something to do with school, your wife? Yeah, she's a principal. She's a principal? Yes. Because I'm seeing children, young children, like a primary school or something like that. It's true, man of God. She's in a primary school, a principal in a primary school. It's true, man of God. Say again, restoration three times. Restoration. 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 You are now working with uh, your, your, your partner that brought you here. It's true, man of God. As I declare the blessings of God in his life, those same blessings, because you're working together, will show up in your life too. I receive. But Jesus. this season, God is restoring you financially and is causing you to forget the pains of yesterday. You will marry again with a daughter of Zion. Glory to Jesus. Are you ready for that? Do you still want to get married or you are so turned off by women? Uh, I'm a little bit, but I want to marry. Uh, you have to. <laughs> after this. You have to. After this, you after have this. to. Stretch your hands toward her. Out toward him. Stretch your hands toward him. Lift your hand. I am blessing you today. I bless your life. From this day forward, your life will be better. In the name of Jesus, the grace of God is on you. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Everybody lift your hand and pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost, pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray, in the Holy Ghost. Pray, 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 pray. The blessings of God are covering the house. Wherever you are, if you have faith to receive, may you receive it now. I receive. I say wherever you are, if you have faith to receive, may you receive it now. I receive it. Somebody holler, I receive it. I receive it. Now, now hear me. This I do very quickly right now. If it is you, be it that you are inside the auditorium or you are in the basement. If I call and you know it is you, I want you to come running. Come very quickly. There is a lady that the Lord is showing me. Your name is Dudu. Dudu Zile. They call you Dudu. Dudu Shangu. Dudu Shabangu. Dudu Shabangu. You are born on the 19th of December. You are from Pumalanga. Kwandebele. You come from a place called... Um, uh, Kwandebele. Please come, come, come. Zarababo City. Zarababa. Everybody pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. As she's coming, pray in the Holy Ghost. Is that you? Zarababo Soto.
Stand up, woman. Stand up very quickly. Look at me. Were you born on the 19th of December? Is that you? <laughs> it is you, Dudu Shabang. Yes, now, course. Dudu Shabang, God will heal so many people today. God will heal people under the sound of my voice of all kinds of diseases. You, if you are here and you believe it, can I hear you say, I receive it? I receive it. Incurable disease is not incurable to God, it's Amen. incurable to man. What is impossible with man is possible with God. Today, hear me. If you are sick and you believe my God, something will happen to you today. If you I receive it, can I hear you say, I receive it. I receive it. But I hear this. God is telling me to do that is healing you today. You have been diagnosed HIV positive. Yes, man of God. When the husband you had, I'm talking about Vic Vuma. Is that true? Vic Vuma. Yes, is I've got kids with Vic Vuma. All right. Okay, you say you have kids. I say your husband. And the reason why you say you have kids with him, uh, implying that it's not formalized as your husband, is because when the two of you met, this man was going through a divorce. He's from Guyana, but yes, originally true. from Mozambique. Yes, it's true. He was going through a divorce. Yes. You had the first child together. Yes. And the Lord is saying to me that after you had the first child together, oh, the Jesus. wife heard that. And the wife said, because my husband is going now, it is no longer a job. Let me make a U-turn. She went on and canceled the divorce. It's true, man. Is that true? Yes, it's true. So he called you my wife, but the, she couldn't, he could not continue anymore no. because the wife had canceled the divorce. Yes, it's true. She you carried help. on. You had another child. Yeah. But the day you were diagnosed after you have been found sick, you have diagnosed HIV positive. Yes, it's true. He decided to go back to the wife. Is that true? He decided to leave you. Is that true? Yes, man of God. Yes. Why, why are you touching here? What is yeah. happening? I'm still in shock. I'm Sorry? still in shock. I'm still in shock because I've been praying for this day, man of God. You're in shock because you've been praying for this day. Yes, man. Is there anybody who has been praying for a day such as oh, this? Oh, yes. Look, God loves us. We are not often. The God on the cross is not your God. Your God has defeated the cross. Amen. He was on the cross and he was in the tomb and he rose. He lives forevermore. We don't bow down to a dead God defeated on the cross. No. He went through the cross. But it's no longer on the cross. He lives forevermore. Amen. The Bible said Jesus is the same yesterday, today. And forevermore, Amen. if your God is dead, come and try man. Marabasete. You, you are in shock. Yes, yes, I'm shocked. I'm shocked. You are, God, because I've been praying for this day. You've been praying for this day. Oh, Jesus. Hear me. Today, God heals you. God will Amen. cleanse you. Amen. Are you hearing me? Thank Hallelujah. Don't mind this man that left. This man, when he realized that you were HIV positive, he also went to test. And he realized that he's still HIV negative. He went back to the wife quickly. Yes, man, God, it's true. He said, I don't like things like this. Went back straight. <laughs> Leaving you with this sickness. But the sickness that you have did not come from him. Because it's negative. It came from your previous relationship. Yes, you true. have children with a man called Petros. Yes, and uh, he is the one who gave it to you. Yes, it's true. It's if, you will if you will bring him because of the children, if you can bring him here, God will manifest his goodness. Jesus. 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 The Lord is healing you. Oh, Do you Jesus. believe he's healing you? Thank you, yes, Jesus. I, I believe. You believe? Yes, I believe. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. 
When you came to church today, God is telling me to tell you. When you came to, this is a proof for you that he has healed you. When you came to church today, they, you had pain under your armpit. Yes. L like you had, you had uh, like a pimple. You know those pimple that comes. Yes. Is that true? Yes, it was painy. It I was don't painy. Know what is it? Under, under my arms. Okay. Is it still there? Check it. Check it. <gasps> press it, press it. Look for it. Look for it. Is it still there? No. No. Glory to there. Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. No, Somebody give Jesus no. praise. No. no. It no. is no longer there. No. It's gone. No. God said, when you came, the pain that you came with under your handpit yes. is gone. It is a sign for you that he has remembered you and your healing has come. Amen. Amen. Whoever Amen. is sick today, Amen. receive healing today in the name Amen. of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. I said, receive healing today in the name Amen. of we Jesus. Receive. Amen. Stretch your hands as we pray. I release grace of God over you. I declare you are healed. Healed, healed, Jesus. healed, healed. In Jesus' name. Everybody stand up. Stand up. I want to come to the crowd. May I please ask especially people in the basement. Don't throw yourself on me. Because you scratch me, you beat me, you, you mistreat me. All that because you want to get something from you. <laughs> See, you just pull me this side, you pull me that side. One day you'll cut me in pieces. And I hope you'll be happy. Hear me. When I come, don't throw yourself in me. God knows where you are. Don't jump on me. Amen. Can we do that? Especially as I go to the overflow. I want to pray for somebody's miracle. It's not over. In a few minutes, the miracles of God will recover the place. Can we do that? <laughs> we will begin fasting tomorrow. So it is time for us to pray. I want everybody to begin to pray. Pray for yourself that God may hear and that God may answer you. Lift your hand as we pray. Shotorobo sete. Roko soto. These are just people that came in this morning, Pastor, mm -hmm. believing God that you will heal them today. God will heal them today. We bless God. Your miracle is for today. Name the devil, Jesus. like it or not, you are receiving it today. Amen. May I come to you now? Can I come down with you? Hear me. The Bible says, if two will agree and ask anything, it shall be done. May I come to hold your hand and agree with you? Is there anybody who's trusting God for his miracle now? Is there anybody who's trusting God for a miracle now? I am coming. Jesus will do it for you. What men cannot do, Jesus will do it for you.
Hear me. If you can hear me out there. We need, I need you to pray with me that we may have a bigger venue. What I'm seeing here, we have far too more people than we can handle. It is serious. There are literally more people outside than that we have inside the auditorium. And I don't want you to be outside. Can we all take a minute? Lift your hand. Take a minute. Let's pray that God may give us a better and a bigger place. Shall we pray? Robo sete. Romo sete. Karababa sete. Rekete sete. Yorobo sete rebe kanta rababa sete rebe sete Yorobo sete rebe sete Now lift your hands. Hear me. From where I am, I'm praying. If you are sick, receive your healing. Amen. If finances have been a problem, it will never be a problem again. In the name of Jesus. God is opening a door for you that nobody can close. I will receive. If you have a family member who is sick, believe God for their restoration. If you are here, you are blind, your eyes cannot open. Begin to see now in the name of Jesus. If next to you there is somebody on the wheelchair, trust God that that person is about to stand up and begin to walk. Do you believe that? My pastors will come and lay hands on you, carrying my grace, carrying my anointing, carrying the same spirit that is on me. What will happen to the hand is exactly what will happen if I lay hands on you. Are you hearing me? Amen. Lift your hands. We pray. Rabba Baba Zoto. Magada Baba Baba. We are praying for you. I command the power of God. Somebody's working now. Pray, speak to God. Let us pray, church. Rokoto, Soto. Somebody's walking. Somebody's walking. Let us give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. AMI, let us give Jesus praise. Receive your healing. Receive your miracle. In receive your healing. Jesus. Receive. Show the name of Jesus. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive your miracle. In Jesus' name. May your eyes open. I break every infirmity in the name of Jesus. In Jesus receive name. it, receive it. Receive it, receive it. In receive the name it. Of Jesus. Receive it, receive it. Free. Yeah. In the name Rise of up from that wheelchair. Rise up from that wheelchair. Rise up from that wheelchair. If you are in a wheelchair, the man of God is commanding you to rise up. Somebody take it to the power of God. Oh, 
Shoto Rekete Zete. Glory to Jesus. Shoto Robobo Zete. Hallelujah. Receive your miracle. Somebody receive your miracle. Somebody receive your miracle. In the name of Jesus. Take receive it, take your it, take it. Take it, take it, take it. Take it, take it, take it. Now pray, pray, in the pray. name of Jesus. Robo sete. Ria basandere bahaya babo sete. Your time has come. We Your time has come. It. We receive it. In the name of Jesus. Never the same. Never the same. Never the same. In Jesus Never the same. Never the same. In Jesus' name. Rakata sete. Kerebebebe sata. Shoto robo sete. Receive it, receive it. Somebody's walking. Somebody's miracle is here. Receive, Somebody's receive. breakthrough is here. In the name of Jesus. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it. Somebody receive. There is a miracle taking place there. There is a miracle. Somebody a miracle there. A wheelchair. A wheelchair. A wheelchair. Give Jesus the praise. A wheelchair. Somebody just stood above that wheelchair. There is another one. There is another one. And another one. There is another Somebody one. Somebody celebrate Jesus. Wheelchairs are going up all over the auditorium. The power of God is all over. Somebody give him praise. People in the auditorium give him praise. Celebrate Jesus. In the overflow, give him praise. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. There are wheelchairs here. There are wheelchairs. Glory Everywhere. Look at this. Glory to Look Jesus. at this. This is the power of God. My there are more goodness. coming. Receive it. Keep on receiving. Keep on receiving. Celebrate Keep on receiving. Keep on Celebrate receiving. Jesus, church. Keep on receiving. He is a good God. Keep on receiving. He is an awesome God. If you are sick, receive run your miracle. Run with it. Run, run with it. If you are sick, do, do what you couldn't do More before. More miracles. I'm coming out here. Oh, in the name we of Jesus. We are still praying. Receive. Receive in the name More of miracles Jesus. miracles are taking place. In the mighty name miracles of Jesus. Are flowing. There are more miracles. More miracles. Rakata sete, rekete. In Jesus name. Receive it. Somebody receive. Receive it. Somebody receive give it. Jesus praise. Hallelujah. Glory receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it. Receive it, receive it, decide. Somebody receive it, receive. receive it, receive it. Receive your miracle. Say, I receive my miracle. I receive my miracle. Say, I receive my miracle. I receive my miracle. Say, I receive my miracle. I receive my miracle. Begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. 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 In the name of Jesus. Never the same. Never the same. Never the same. In Jesus' Never name. Never the same. Never the same. You will not Glory die before your time. Jesus. Look at it. There is a wheelchair going up. Hallelujah. There is a Hallelujah. wheelchair going up. There is Hallelujah. a wheelchair going up. There is a wheelchair Give going up. Praise. Another wheelchair is going up. There is another up. one inside. My there is another one. Hallelujah. There is another one. Glory to Jesus. There Are is you rise on your and feet one. and celebrate Jesus. Reba Sata. Receive your miracle. Receive your miracle. Stand up on your feet. Pull it down. Pull it down. Jesus no more sickness. Praise. No more disease. Hallelujah. No more HIV. The Lord has remembered you. Hallelujah. You will walk tall now. Somebody Hallelujah. say, I receive it. Look, two more wheelchairs. Two more wheelchairs. Two more wheelchairs. Two more wheelchairs. There is no more pain in your body. 
Receive what is yours. Burning bush. Hear me. Give Lift me your praise. hands as high as you can get. There is a crutch coming there. Look at somebody there. Out there. There is a crutch there. Somebody's walking. Hallelujah. 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 Give him praise. Celebrate Jesus. Lift run your hands if you and couldn't receive. run. Celebrate Jesus! Celebrate Jesus! Say I receive! Watch us in the air! In the name of Jesus! Hallelujah! Now lift your hands! Lift your hands! Begin to pray the Holy Ghost! Pray! Speak Glory to God! Glory to Jesus! I am blessing you! The miracles of God are on you! Receive it! In the name of Jesus! Amen! Now take those hands! Put them on your head! See the blessings of God! It is done! It is done! Church, if you want to done. be part of it! it is done. You've got to celebrate Jesus! You cannot be sitting down in this miracles. Give Jesus the praise. Celebrate him. He's worthy. You will never be the same again. In the name of Jesus. Who am I talking to? Who am I talking to? Somebody receive. Your life will never be the same again. In Jesus' name. Even as you engage and embark on the 40 days fasting, your life will never be the same again. Say, I receive it. I receive it. So shall it be. It cannot be otherwise. In the name of. I love you. Celebrate Jesus, I am I. Jesus praise. He's worthy. He's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Be a partaker of the power of God. Be a partaker of the power of God. Glory to Jesus. Jesus praise hallelujah hallelujah the blind can still see today he still opens the eyes of the blind he still opens the ears of the deaf he still makes the lame to walk he still makes the impossible possible he still set the captive free his name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus is Lord. Tap into your miracle. This is your day. Your life will never be the same again. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. As the man of God is touching and imparting the crowds outside, you in the auditorium and the basement receive. Receive that which God is distributing. It is your portion as well. In the name of Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Receive your miracle. If you're at home watching, touch the screen and receive your miracle. Believe God for the impossible today. If you're in a hospital bed in the hospital, believe God for the impossible today. The miraculous power of God is where you are. Right in your living room, right in the hospital, 
right in your office, right in the hotel room. He's there, he's there touching you. Omnipresent God, we give you praise. Oh, I decree and I declare under the anointing of my spiritual father that every man, every woman, every girl and boy child who came into this auditorium in lack will receive in the name of Jesus. Who came inside this auditorium sick, receive your healing in the name of Jesus. Receive in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory, glory, glory. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. Touch your people, oh God. We are here for a Bernie Bush experience. Let us experience, oh God, that which we have never experienced before. The supernatural in an uncommon way. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Receive your healing. Receive your deliverance. In the name of Jesus. Reba Saya. Ruyobo Sender In the mighty name of Jesus. Receive your deliverance. In Jesus' name. Touch your people, O oh God. Thank you for healing them. Thank you for delivering them. Thank you for honoring their faith, O oh God. Yes, Jesus. The lives will never be the same again. In the mighty name of Jesus. Robo Siende. Jesus, Jesus, glory to Jesus, hallelujah, Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. He's worthy. He's worthy. Receive it. Receive your breakthrough. Receive your deliverance. In the name of Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Receive your healing. In the name of Jesus.
Save your miracle. miracle be prayerful be prayerful in the presence of God be prayerful in the presence of God don't let this moment pass lift you your by. hands lift your hands just Glory lift your hands Jesus. I pray you receive now in the name of Jesus Amen. I pray you receive now in the name of Jesus we begin receive. to receive take it take it take it take it take it we take receive. it In the name of Jesus. Lift your hand. I need to touch you, but oh. Glory to Jesus. America. of Jesus. Jesus, lift up your hands, lift up your hands towards heaven and thank him, thank him for what he's doing right now, thank him for the experience that you're having right now, thank him for your healing, thank him for your deliverance, thank God for your deliverance, in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. This woman, she was brought in this morning. She has asthma and she's HIV positive. She's in great pain and she's not able to do anything. She's just believing God 
that the power through you will heal her. This woman, man of God, has arthritis. She has asthma. Asthma. She has kidney failure. She's HIV positive. Also for six years. Six years. Yes, man of God. This woman, she fell, Pastor Elf, on a hip that makes it impossible for her to walk. And uh, she's also, she, she went to the doctor at General Hospital, Joel Jen, and they said that she has liver failure. She has liver failure and she broke her hip. She broke her hip. How long ago? Gun. How long ago? Two months ago, Pastor. For two months. This person, Pastor, is in complete body pains all over her body. She's complaining of pains. And she said when the pains come, there is an, a, a flush of blood, excessive bleeding coming all the time. And she's very much in pain as well. Please help me. Stretch your hands. You may be seated if you want. You may be standing. But I want you to be connected to me. Amen. Stretch your hands toward them. Um, this Beloved are in pain. Yes. And we can trust God for them. Stretch your hands toward them if you are too far. And you can see them on the screen. As you make it happen for them, God will remember you. See Look the at this sucking. This is the vibration. Look at this. Vibration of the power of God. Look at this. Mm. Jesus. Good God. Pray, begin to pray. Pray for her. Pray for her. Pray for her. God is at pray work. Her. This pray for is, her. Pray for she her. She came and she's experiencing a burning bush. Somebody stretch your hands and receive your healing as well. Man of God is instructing her to receive a healing. I command pain to leave you. As oh, as the man of God is laying hands, is commanding pain. Her body to be healed. In the name and of Jesus, I serve. I command you to be healed. In Jesus Receive name. your healing. In the name, in of, the name Jesus. of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Receive it. There's the power of God. There Receive is it. the power of God. My goodness. Give him praise. See the power of God Jesus. at work. Look what the Lord is doing. Glory to Jesus. Glory to the mighty God. Glory, glory, glory. She broke a hip. God. Yes, man of God. Let's pray. Soko robo sete. Zata reke rata seta roto soto. Jesus, see the power of God. See the power of God at work in her. Jesus. Receive your healing. God is healing her. He's touching her. That hip, that broken hip, something is happening. Something is happening. Jesus. The man of God is instructing and commanding healing. Look at the power of God. Receive. Stand as the man of God is commanding her. In the name of Jesus. Give him praise. Celebrate Jesus. Are you mine? Celebrate Jesus. Great God, she broke her hip. But look what the Lord has done. In the name of Jesus. See the vibration of God. See the vibration. Of, that's the power of God at work in her. Receive your healing. In the name of Jesus. That's God at work. In Jesus' name you are healed. Receive Live your life. It. Jesus. Look what the Lord is doing. Hey, 
Glory Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory. Glory to the mighty God. We give you glory. Hallelujah. We give you glory. What's her problem? Um, She has um, asthma, man of God, and um, HIV for five years. Only? Yes, Pastor. Glory to Jesus. My God. Receive your healing. Take it. Take it. Mm. Take it. Take See it. the power. Take it. Take it. There's Take the it. power Take of it. God. There goes. Going through Take her. It. Going through Take her. It. Never the same again. Take it. Healed in the name of Jesus. Healed in the name of Jesus. Receive it. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. Look at the power of God. In the name of Jesus. Free forever. Never. The same again. Give Jesus praise. Celebrate Jesus. My God. My God. Give him praise. Look what the Lord has done. Look what the Lord has done. Hallelujah. Give him praise. Give him praise. Church, give Jesus praise. Celebrate him. You can be seated. Somebody jump off your seat. Give Jesus Christ praise. Give him praise. Give Jesus praise. Your hand, lift your hands. Say, Lord, Lord, I also want my own. I want my miracle. I want it now. If you are in the sound of my voice, I'm counting till seven. At the seven, begin to receive your miracles. If you are out there watching me, hear me. Today is your day. You will have your own experience, not your neighbor's experience. Something is about to happen to somebody here. In the main auditorium. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Begin to receive. We receive. Begin to receive. May we your receive. eyes open. May your eyes open. In the name of Jesus. Rise up from that wheelchair. Rise up from that wheelchair. Your body pain is gone. Receive it. You can move your body again. Receive it. Receive your miracle. Receive it. Receive your miracle. Receive your miracle. In the name of Receive Jesus. It. Receive it. Miracles are happening. Somebody receive it. Exercise your faith. Exercise your faith. Don't go home without your miracle. Don't you go home without your miracle. In the name of Jesus. Don't go home without your miracle. In the name of Jesus. Exercise your faith. Raka, take it. I see a wheelchair. I see a wheelchair. There is a wheelchair. There is another one at the back. Glory to Jesus. There is another one at the back. Receive your miracle. Wheelchairs are going up all over the Receive your miracle. Give him praise. There is another one. Receive it this side. Receive it. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. Wheelchairs, wheelchairs. They are going up all over the world. Don't be able to see. To the glory of God. Give him praise. Give him praise. He's worthy. Receive it. He's worthy. Receive your breakthrough. Receive your Receive your financial miracle. Receive Somebody is getting his deliverance the there. Power of God. Somebody is receiving his deliverance. Receive it. Receive it. Keep on receiving. Keep on receiving. Exercise your faith. Exercise your faith. Work out your miracle. In the name of Jesus. We celebrate Jesus. Keep on receiving. Receive your deliverance. Right now in the name Receive of Jesus. Receive your marriage. In the 
receive your restoration. Receive it. Receive your breakthrough. Oh, somebody receive. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Receive, receive, receive. Somebody receive. Keep on praying, keep on praying. Something is happening, ready? something is happening. Are you ready? Do what you cannot do before. Do what you could not do before. Receive your miracle. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Receive, receive, receive. This is your moment. In Jesus' name. Every chain of the devil is broken in your life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Lift your hand. Look, never mind the heat. If it's bothering you, do something about it. Put up aircons. Until then, never mind it. Do not allow this heat wave yes. to stop your miracle. That's right. Chains are falling. Yes. Amen. That chain of stagnation that mm. prevented you this far yes. to get to your miracle. It has fallen. Receive it. Lift your hands. In Jesus' name. Look at that. There is another miracle that just happened. Glory Somebody's walking Jesus. from a wheelchair. Somebody Hallelujah. is walking at the bed from a wheelchair. Give Jesus it's praise a another wheelchair. It's Somebody just got up. Give him praise. It's a there is somebody there is walking here. here. Somebody's walking here in front. Give him praise. Somebody's walking here. Give, Give Jesus praise. Give him praise. Hallelujah, ministry, celebrate Jesus. He's worthy, he's worthy. Give Jesus Look praise. at him walking. Look at the power of God. This is God, this is God, this is God. Give him praise. There is another one. Celebrate Jesus. And there is another one. Oh my goodness. There are two more people walking there. Two wheelchairs, more people. Wheelchairs are going up all over the auditorium. Celebrate Jesus. There is another one. Give him praise. Give him praise. Glory to Jesus. Receive your miracle. If God can heal the blind to see, if God can make the lame to walk, receive your miracle. Receive it, receive it. Look at that working. Oh my goodness, celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. This is the power of God. Look at this woman, strong and mighty in the power of God. Hallelujah. Jesus. All over the auditorium. All over this auditorium. She's also walking. Look at the speed. Look at the speed. Give him glory, give him glory. Miracles are happening there. Everywhere. Miracles are happening. All over the place. Walkers are going up. Celebrate Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Receive the miracle. Receive the miracle. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm ready for overflow. I'm ready for overflow. Glory to Jesus. Celebrate him. We worship you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. We exalt your holy name. We love you, Jesus. No one we is thank like you, you, Jesus. Thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Yes, Lord. For the many miracles, we thank you. Thank for you, what Jesus. you're doing, we thank you. Hallelujah. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my goodness. This is God. Glory your miracle is here. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And keep on receiving. We're receiving. He's fighting your back. Somebody's walking from crutches there. Somebody's I see crutches, crutches there. Up all in the air. Celebrate I Jesus. see crutches there. We give you all 
Righteous are lifted. Somebody is walking. Glory to Jesus, receive. Glory to Jesus. Glory. We worship you. Worship you, Lord. Your word, your word, your word, your word. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. I see chains falling. Thank you, Jesus. Say after me, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Every bondage of the enemy. Every bondage of the enemy. That kept me captives. That kept me captive. Of sickness. Of sickness. Of disease. Of disease. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I destroy it. I destroy it. Every bondage of the enemy. Every bondage of the enemy. That kept me captive. That kept me captive. Of lack. Of lack. Of poverty. Of poverty. I destroy it now. I destroy it now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Every spirit of stagnation. Every spirit of stagnation. Every spirit of no progress. Every spirit of no progress. I destroy you now. I destroy you now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Oh God. Oh God. I receive my miracle today. I receive my miracle today. In every area of my life. In every area of my life. In my finances. In my finances. In my family. In my family family in my work in, in my, my work, work in my health in my health in the works of my hands in the works of my hands in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus say I decree I declare I decree I declare there'll be no bad news in my house there'll be no bad news in say my house again, I decree and I declare I decree and I declare there'll be no bad news in my house there'll be no bad news in my house every word every word that the Lord has spoken in my life that the Lord has spoken in my life the promises I receive the promises I receive the prophetic word upon my life the prophetic word upon my life shall manifest in this season shall manifest in the season healing is not healing is not away from me healing is not away from me where I stay where I stay healing is healing is poverty stays away from me poverty stays away from me but wealth but well stays where I stay stays where I stay in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus the joy of the Lord the joy of the Lord is my strength is my strength I decree I declare I decree I declare my house is a house of healing my house is a house of healing my house is a house of deliverance my house is a house of deliverance my house is a house of breakthrough my house is a house of breakthrough my house is a house of testimony my house is a house of testimony this is my year of the overflow. This, this is my year, year of the overflow. overflow. Even as I will fast for 40 days. Even as I will fast for 40 days. I will see the glory of God. I will see the glory of God. For my life. For my life. Every day of this year. Every day of this year. Will produce a miracle. Will produce a miracle. In my life. In my life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. So I am blessed. I am blessed. Going out. Going out. I am blessed. I am blessed. Coming in. Coming in. I am blessed in the city. I am blessed in the city. I am blessed in the field. I am blessed in the field. What I do is blessed. What I do is blessed. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Defeat stays away from me. Defeat stays away from me. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hear me now. Lift your hand. I want to pray for your hands. There's still many miracles that are about to happen. Amen. For those of you out there, you are watching me. You may be in a place far from here. But in reality, in spirit, you are just here because you are connected. I see you, and the Lord sees you, you, and his grace and his mercy shall manifest in your life. Amen. We serve the true God. Amen. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. He has remembered you. Amen. Enough is enough. Yes. 
you have cried for too long. Amen. In this season, you will rejoice in the name of I Jesus. I receive it. Lift your hands. Now, take it serious. As God promised to ignite the light of direction in you, He will give you direction. He said, He activated your navigation system. Amen. Take serious every instruction you receive from Him. All of them are Amen. meant to push you forward. Amen. That you too may testify. I receive. Remember, family, you can only have what God say have if you do what God say do. Mm. If you're not prepared to do what God say do, you have aborted what God say have. Next Sunday, the road of Moses. First in your finances. As we go through the fast, on Sunday come with a point of contact. Ten rain. If you're watching me, you will have a currency there. Find a note, not a coin, a note. Even the smallest, you are free to get any note. But what I say, ten run, is so that everybody may see. It's just a point of contact. We will pray together. Amen. I say we will pray together. Amen. See, children of God, the enemy has been playing tricks on your finances. That 10 rand, you will go home with it. You will put it in your wallet. Don't put it in your account because you will not know where it will go. Keep it in your Bible. Keep it where you know you will have it. And sanctify it. Separate it. Mm -hmm. Please, you have no right to write on money. So don't write on money. No, this is for my breakthrough. No. Just put it away. So you may not mix it with others. You will keep it throughout the fast. The last weekend of the fast, you will raise a worthy offering. You will put it in an envelope and you will take your miracle connection, the road, and you will put it inside. Amen. I tell you, that will bring judgment to poverty. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. It shall bring judgment to poverty, to lack. That miracle that you put with a worthy offering will be a tool that I will part the Red Sea for you to cross to the I other side of it. prosperity. It will guard you. That same ten rain, one dollar, one shilling, one kwanza, whatever the case may be, with your worthy offering, will cause the rock to give you water. Amen. Am I speaking to somebody? Amen. Who am I speaking to? I receive it. How many of you are feeling it? Yes, I am feeling it. How many of you are ready to obey the voice of God? I am ready to obey you the voice of God. You will pray over that as we go. As we mm. fast, when you fast for your finance, when you pray for your finance, you look at that road. That is the road of Moses. Amen. Your life is about to turn around. I receive. People will ask you, which magic did you do? Mm. Lift your hands. Say, Lord. Lord. I receive. I receive. In my life. In my life. What you have for me. What you have for me. Today. Today. I seal it in my life. I seal it in my life. Take both your hands and lay them on your hands. Begin to speak words over you. I am blessed. I am blessed. Hallelujah. My doors are open. Rema I receive my miracle. In the name of Jesus. I receive my miracle. I am blessed. I am blessed. I am blessed of the Lord. Somebody decree the blessings of God upon your life. My life is blessed. I am highly favored of the Lord. I have the rod of Moses in my hand. Lord, I thank you for divine direction. Thank you, Lord, that my life will never be the same again. I'm indeed blessed of the Lord. I'm not cursed. I'm indeed highly favored of God. 
Where the enemy left me the last time, he will never find me. For the Lord has shifted me into a new dimension. I thank you, Lord, for permanent health in my body. I thank you for permanent healing in my body. I thank you for the power of God that is permanently settled upon me. I thank you, Lord, what you have blessed me with. No man can ever take it. What you have blessed me with, no devil from hell can ever touch it. I decree and I declare that I am invincible. I decree and I declare that I am un impossible for somebody to find me. I cannot be found. They will look for me, but they will not find me. I have shifted and moved from my previous address into my new address. This year, things will be different. For God is walking with me. God is gone before me. Now, Lord, under the anointing of my spiritual father, I declare your children blessed. I said, I declare the children of God blessed. I bless your Monday. I bless your Monday. Somebody receive the blessings of Monday. I bless your Tuesday. I bless your Wednesday. I bless your Thursday. I bless your Friday. I bless your Saturday. And I bless your Sunday. Let us be in one accord and in agreement with our Moses, our prophet, to come with a note as he has instructed us. That is our point of contact for our rod. The Lord bless you. Go in the peace and the uncommon favor of Almighty God. We bless you, those of us who are watching us. God bless you too.